Hey, what is happening everybody? It's your old pal Mr. Butter coming back at you. I'm filming this on Friday the 16th. Today we saw the Gone Fishing Dunk Lows drop on the Sneakers app. I already had the Rainbow Trout pair, but I also picked up the King Salmon pair. This week was brutal. I'm really pumped that the weekend's here. I'm ready to take a look at some cool shoes. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these King Salmon or Light Silver Dunk Lows. So just like the Rainbow Trout pair that I already did a review of, this came in a standard Nike box. There's nothing out of the ordinary there. The tag reads Nike Dunk Low Retro SE. The colors are Photon Dust and Light Silver. This, of course, is the light blue pair, and the rainbow trout pair is a darker color with speckles all over it. And real quick, I thought it was interesting. This tag says Nike Dunk Low Retro SE, but when I did the first review, I wasn't sure why the label said SE2. Here's the label for the first review for the Rainbow Trout pair and there you can see it says Nike Dunk Low Retro SE2 and I mentioned in my review that I didn't know why it said that with the two on there and somebody in the comments let me know that it was a special edition but it was part of a pack and there was actually two shoes being released but one of them has a two on the label just to indicate that it is the second pair in the pack. We've got a standard box just like the other pair. But when you look inside, we did get that cool looking paper that looks like water. Even though that's a small touch, I like little things like that whenever we get a unique release like this. So I think that paper is pretty cool. But then enough of that box and paper talk. Check these out. Just like the first pair that I saw, they caught my attention when they were on the wall at my local finish line. And I'll tell you what, pictures do not do these things justice. They look really, really cool. Immediately, these reminded me of the Union Dunk Lows. There was a couple different colors. There was like a pistachio, and then they had a light blue pair as well. I reviewed the light blue pair. In my opinion, these definitely have that same vibe that the blue pair of the Union Dunk Low, the Passport Pack, it definitely has that same kind of flair to it. I think those Union Dunk Lows were pretty expensive right off the rip. I think prices may have come down on them some, but I bet they're still pretty expensive. So I think this would be a great option if you really wanted that pair, but the price was just a little too high. I think these will probably be pretty affordable for a while and pretty easy to get. So I think this is a great option if you missed out on those dunk lows, but you really wanted that blue pair. Whenever I reviewed that rainbow trout pair, people said in my comments, they were like, oh, the blue pair is way better. The blue pair is way better. And I really like these, but I'm not sure if I like them more than what I like that rainbow trout pair. I just kind of like how crazy looking the rainbow trout pair is. I like all those speckles all over it, and I like that it's a darker looking shoe. Like this one to me is definitely more of like a fair weather shoe, where the other dunk, I'd wear that to go fishing, honestly. Like I think it'll hide dirt, and I think it'll look fine whenever you beat it up too. Both shoes have a rip stop base they both have a really premium feeling suede overlay this suede is a lot hairier it's got longer fur on it than what the suede on the rainbow trout pair does and i do like all that texture i think that's really really cool looking but it's very very soft and it seems like it's a really really nice material along with that the QC on both pairs seems really good. I haven't seen any issues on either pair, so I think Nike did a really, really good job on these. Real quick, just for comparison, this is the Rainbow Trout pair, and you can see that both of them have that fish hook swoosh that has that iridescent effect, and it's got the fish scale texture on there, and I think that's really cool. They both have the tags on the tongue, that have the fish on it and I think it says Nike Beaverton 1972 and they both also have that fish down on the insole 
it's very easy to see that these come from the same pack that they have the same inspiration just a different type of fish but i think both pair are awesome and i don't think you can go wrong with either one personally i probably do prefer this one just a little bit because it's just a little bit crazier looking but let me know down in the comments which one you prefer and let me know if you picked one up but moving on to the review we've got a standard dunk tread pattern we've all seen this before we know what it looks like very similar to the jordan one pivot point in the front nike branding there at the midfoot and on this pair it's like a light grayish blue color it's a really nice color on there on the rainbow trout pair i don't think there was any change in color from the midsole to the outsole but i do like that on this one you get a little bit of a change there from the midsole to the outsole and then coming up, we can see that we've got the same cream midsole that we saw on the other pair, but the stitching on this midsole is a nice blue color, and it kind of matches the upper and matches the outsole, but it's very, very nice looking, very clean looking. Then as we get to the upper of the shoe, I really, really love this material. I love how shaggy it is, and it really does feel nice and soft. On top of that, it's just a beautiful color. But looking at the sides of these overlays, it's actually a nice thick cut. And I think they did really, really good on this release. I'm loving these materials. I love the colors. And I love that it looks like they actually put effort into the design of these. Because sometimes it just seems like they just throw something together and they just figure like everybody will buy whatever we put out. So we're not going to put anything into it. I feel like with this release, Nike earned our money, if that makes any sense. But anyhow, we have this shaggy suede for our mug guard, going up our eye stays, and then wrapping around the base of the heel. I really like this contrasting suede that we have here in a little bit darker of a blue color, where we get those rows of stitching. I think that's a very nice look. And then for the heel tab, we have that same iridescent fish scale effect that we see on the swooshes as well i really think that's a nice touch too and i think this iridescent effect really complements these colors really well for the base of our shoe like i said we've got a ripstop material in a light blue color and i don't mind ripstop i actually prefer ripstop to like canvas and that sort of thing and on these shoes i think it looks really really nice i like the texture that it gives and i just love these colors together so i'm not mad at these materials at all but you can see that rip stop on the base here on the toe box and then the side panels and then up here by the collar our tongue is also rip stop but it's a little bit darker of a blue and i feel like the blue on the tongue kind of matches this contrasting suede that we see on the back as well the piping on the tongue is a light blue and that kind of matches this rip stop on the base and then like i said before we have this tag that has that fish up on there and i think that's really really neat looking very unique it looks like our laces are just flat laces and they match that creamy or off-white color of the midsole and I think that's a nice little contrast to the shoe. I also noticed that our heel tab where it says Nike also has that cream color to it which I think is a really nice hit. Our sock liner is light blue as is our insole and you can also see that fish printed down on there. But that was just a quick look at these. I think they're absolutely dope. I think the other pair is really good. If I had to pick one at this moment, I would probably go with the Rainbow Trout, but I think they're both worth picking up. And I don't think you can make a wrong choice grabbing either one of them. Let me know if you picked up a pair. Let me know which pair you prefer. And I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.